Top 20 Celebrities Who Lost Everything In the glitzy world of Hollywood, fame and fortune often seem like an endless ride to success. However, behind the dazzling lights and red carpet glamour lie stories of triumph, downfall, and resilience. Join us as we delve into the lives of 20 celebrities who, despite reaching the pinnacle of stardom, found themselves facing the harsh reality of losing it all. Heidi Montag Heidi Montag, an American television personality, singer, and fashion designer, rose to prominence through her appearance on the reality TV series The Hills, which aired from 2006 to 2010. Born on September 15, 1986, in Crested Butte, Colorado, Heidi quickly became famous for her relationship with Spencer Pratt, whom she later married. Her career initially flourished as she ventured into music and fashion, even releasing a music album and launching her fashion line. However, she is often associated with undergoing a dramatic series of plastic surgeries, including 10 procedures in a single day in 2010. This pursuit of extreme physical transformation garnered widespread media attention and criticism. The extensive surgeries and their associated costs, coupled with a decline in her career, led to financial troubles for Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt. They faced personal and financial challenges as they struggled to maintain their celebrity status. Today, at 38 years old, Heidi Montag's journey serves as a cautionary tale about the pressures and consequences of fame and extreme body modification in the entertainment industry. Teresa Giudice Teresa Giudice, an American television personality best known for her role in the reality TV series The Real Housewives of New Jersey, was born on May 18, 1972, in Patterson, New Jersey. Teresa's fame largely stemmed from her appearances on the show, which premiered in 2009 and followed the lives of affluent New Jersey women. Teresa and her husband, Joe Giudici, faced a high-profile financial downfall. They declared bankruptcy in 2009 with debts totaling millions of dollars. In 2014, both were sentenced to prison for multiple counts of fraud and conspiracy. Teresa served 11 months, and Joe served over three years before being deported to Italy. Now, at 52 years old, Teresa Giudice's journey has been marked by legal battles, personal challenges, and continued reality TV appearances. Sly Stone Sly Stone, born Sylvester Stewart on March 15, 1943, in Denton, Texas, is a legendary American musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. He rose to fame as the frontman of the influential band Sly and the Family Stone in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The group's fusion of rock, funk, and soul music made them trailblazers in the music industry. However, Sly Stone faced personal and financial troubles that led to a decline in his career. Substance abuse issues and legal problems resulted in financial difficulties and a period of homelessness. Currently, at the age of 81, Sly Stone's legacy as a musical innovator continues to be celebrated even as he has struggled with the challenges life has thrown his way. Brett Butler Brett Butler, an American actress and comedian, was born on January 30, 1958, in Montgomery, Alabama. She gained fame for her starring role in the hit sitcom Grace Under Fire, which aired from 1993 to 1998. Butler's portrayal of a single mother navigating life's challenges resonated with audiences and propelled her to stardom. However, her rapid ascent was followed by a tumultuous period. Substance abuse issues and conflicts on set led to her dismissal from Grace Under Fire. Financial struggles and personal problems further derailed her career, resulting in a period of obscurity. As of 2024, at the age of 66, Brett Butler has made sporadic appearances in television and comedy over the years. But her career never fully recovered from the setbacks she faced during her heyday. Doug Hutchison Doug Hutchison, an American actor, was born on May 26, 1960 in Dover, Delaware. 
He gained fame for his portrayal of Percy Wetmore in the 1999 film The Green Mile, where he played a sadistic prison guard. This role showcased his acting talent and drew considerable attention. However, Doug Hutchison faced challenges in maintaining his career momentum. He became more known for his personal life, particularly his controversial marriage to Courtney Stodden, who was 16 years old at the time of their wedding in 2011. The unconventional relationship drew intense media scrutiny and negatively impacted his professional life. This year, at the age of 64, Doug Hutchison's career has experienced a decline, and he remains a figure associated with the controversial aspects of his personal life more than his acting work. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes, an American actress and former child star, was born on April 3, 1986 in Thousand Oaks, California. She gained fame through her roles in popular Nickelodeon TV shows like All That and The Amanda Show during the late 90s and early 2000s. Her talent and comedic timing endeared her to audiences. However, in the mid-2000s, Amanda Bynes faced a highly publicized downfall marked by legal troubles, erratic behavior, and struggles with mental health. She announced her retirement from acting in 2010, and her actions during this period led to a conservatorship, a legal arrangement often used for individuals who are unable to make their own decisions. In 2024, at the age of 38, Amanda Bynes is on a journey of recovery, focusing on her mental health and personal well-being. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by child stars in the entertainment industry. Congratulations on completing one of three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one, otherwise comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. MC Hammer. MC Hammer, whose real name is Stanley Kirk Burrell, is an American rapper, dancer, and entrepreneur. He was born on March 30, 1962, in Oakland, California. MC Hammer became famous in the late 1980s and early 1990s for his innovative rap music characterized by catchy beats and elaborate dance moves. His album Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him in 1990 produced the iconic hit You Can't Touch This. Despite immense success, MC Hammer faced financial difficulties due to extravagant spending and a lavish lifestyle. He filed for bankruptcy in 1996, owing millions of dollars. However, he didn't let this setback define his life. MC Hammer reinvented himself as a tech entrepreneur and preacher. As of 2024, at the age of 62, MC Hammer continues to pursue various ventures, demonstrating resilience and adaptability in his career. Gary Coleman Gary Coleman was an American actor best known for his role as Arnold Jackson in the sitcom Different Strokes. He was born on February 8, 1968 in Zion, Illinois. Despite his short stature, Coleman's talent and charm made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Different Strokes, aired from 1978 to 1986 and catapulted Coleman to fame at a young age. However, despite his success on the show, Coleman faced personal and financial challenges throughout his life. He struggled with health issues and legal battles, and his finances suffered due to mismanagement and exploitation by his parents and advisors. Coleman's adult life was marked by difficulties, including financial struggles and legal disputes. He passed away on May 28, 2010, at the age of 42. Despite the challenges he faced, Gary Coleman's legacy as a talented actor and cultural icon continues to be remembered and celebrated. Dennis Rodman Dennis Rodman, a former American professional basketball player, was born on May 13, 1961 in Trenton, New Jersey. He gained fame primarily for his incredible skills on the basketball court and his eccentric off-court behavior. Rodman's career in the NBA, playing for teams like the Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons, was marked by his exceptional rebounding ability and defensive prowess, earning him numerous awards and championships. 
However, his personal life faced turmoil due to issues with addiction and erratic behavior. Financial difficulties followed his retirement from the NBA, and his eccentric public appearances drew more attention than his basketball achievements. In 2024, at the age of 63, despite the challenges he faced, Dennis Rodman remains an iconic figure in the world of sports and entertainment, known for his unique and flamboyant persona. Gary Busey Gary Busey, an American actor and musician, was born on June 29, 1944, in Goose Creek, Texas. He initially gained fame for his roles in notable films like The Buddy Holly Story in 1978, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. His intense performances and distinctive personality made him a memorable figure in Hollywood. However, Gary Busey faced personal struggles, including substance abuse issues, which negatively impacted his career. His erratic behavior and legal troubles made headlines, and he struggled to secure significant roles in mainstream cinema. As of 2024, at the age of 80, while his career may not have reached the same heights as in his early days, Gary Busey has continued to act in various film and television projects, and his unique presence in the industry remains enduring. Todd Herzog Todd Herzog, an American reality TV personality, was born on January 29, 1985, in Pleasant Grove, Utah. He gained fame by winning the reality show Survivor China in 2007, becoming the sole survivor and earning a $1 million prize. Todd's strategic gameplay and likable personality endeared him to viewers. However, after his Survivor victory, Todd Herzog faced personal struggles with alcoholism, which severely impacted his life and career. His battle with addiction led to multiple rehab stints, health issues, and setbacks. This year, at the age of 39, Todd Herzog has taken steps toward recovery and has shared his journey to inspire and help others grappling with addiction. His story serves as a reminder of the challenges that can come with sudden fame and the importance of seeking support when facing personal crises. Lil Kim Lil Kim, born Kimberly Denise Jones on July 11, 1974 in Brooklyn, New York, is a renowned American rapper, songwriter, and actress. She rose to fame in the mid-90s as a prominent figure in the hip-hop scene. Lil Kim's provocative lyrics and fearless persona made her a trailblazer for female artists in a male-dominated industry. Her debut album Hardcore in 1996 catapulted her to stardom. However, Lil Kim faced legal troubles, including a year-long prison sentence for perjury in 2005, which interrupted her career. Financial difficulties and controversies also impacted her legacy. In 2024, at the age of 50, despite challenges, Lil' Kim remains an influential figure in hip-hop, known for her pioneering contributions to the genre and her enduring impact on contemporary rap culture. Fantasia Barino Fantasia Barino, born on June 30, 1984, in High Point, North Carolina, is an American singer and actress. She first gained widespread fame by winning the third season of the reality TV competition series American Idol in 2004. Her powerful and soulful voice captivated audiences, and her victory launched her music career. Fantasia enjoyed success with hit songs and albums, including I Believe and Free Yourself. However, financial difficulties, personal struggles and health issues, including vocal cord problems, posed challenges to her career. She faced legal troubles and filed for bankruptcy in 2013. As of 2024, at the age of 40, despite setbacks, Fantasia Barino continues to pursue her passion for music and remains a respected figure in the R&B and gospel genres, demonstrating resilience and determination in her career. Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton, born on October 7, 1967 in Severn, Maryland, is a celebrated American singer, songwriter, and actress. She gained fame in the early 90s with her self-titled debut album featuring the chart-topping hit, Unbreak My Heart. 
Her sultry voice and emotive ballads solidified her as an R&B icon. However, Toni Braxton faced financial difficulties largely due to contractual disputes and health issues. She filed for bankruptcy twice, in 1998 and 2010, which led to the loss of many of her assets. Now, at the age of 56, Toni Braxton has continued to release music, write books, and pursue acting, showcasing resilience in the face of challenges. Her enduring talent keeps her a revered figure in the music industry. Kim Basinger Kim Basinger, born on December 8, 1953, in Athens, Georgia, is a renowned American actress and former fashion model. She achieved fame through her roles in various films, including L.A. Confidential in 1997, for which she won an Academy Award, and her iconic role as Vicki Vale in Batman in 1989. Her stunning beauty and acting talent made her a Hollywood sensation. However, Kim Bassinger encountered financial troubles due to investments in a failed town project in Georgia, leading her to file for bankruptcy in 1993. However, she later rebounded and continued her successful acting career. As of 2024, at the age of 70, Kim Basinger remains an acclaimed figure in the film industry, known for her versatility and enduring contributions to cinema. Sinbad Sinbad, born David Adkins on November 10, 1956, in Benton Harbor, Michigan, is an American stand-up comedian and actor. He gained fame for his witty and family-friendly comedy, becoming a household name in the 1990s. His successful career included roles in television shows like A Different World and films like Jingle All the Way. However, Sinbad faced financial difficulties in the early 2000s due to poor investments and overwhelming debt. He filed for bankruptcy twice, in 2009 and 2013, leading to the loss of many assets. As of 2024, at the age of 68, despite financial setbacks, Sinbad continues to perform stand-up comedy and remains a beloved figure in the comedy world, known for his humor and positive energy. Kelly Rutherford Kelly Rutherford, born on November 6, 1968, in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, is an American actress best known for her role as Lily Vander Woodson in the hit TV series Gossip Girl. She gained fame and a dedicated fan base through her portrayal of this character, which became a cultural icon. While her career thrived, Kelly Rutherford faced a challenging and highly publicized custody battle over her two children, Hermes and Helena, with her ex-husband. The legal costs associated with the custody battle and the resulting financial strain led to personal and financial difficulties. Now, at the age of 56, despite the challenges she's faced, Kelly Rutherford continues to work in the entertainment industry, showcasing her resilience and dedication to her craft. Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds, an iconic American actor, director, and producer, was born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan. He became famous for his charismatic performances in a wide range of films, including Deliverance in 1972, Smokey and the Bandit in 1977, and Boogie Nights in 1997, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. Reynolds enjoyed immense success in Hollywood. However, he faced financial difficulties in the early 1990s, he invested heavily in various business ventures, including restaurants and a professional football team, which didn't pan out as expected. These investments, coupled with a costly divorce from Lonnie Anderson, led to significant financial setbacks. Sadly, Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82. His legacy endures as an iconic figure in the world of film and entertainment, remembered for his talent and contributions to cinema. T-Pain T-Pain, born Fahim Rashid Najem on September 30, 1985 in Tallahassee, Florida, is an American rapper, singer, and record producer. He gained fame for his innovative use of auto-tune technology in his music, which became a defining feature of his signature sound. His career took off in the mid-2000s with hits like 
buy you a drink and bartender, earning him critical acclaim and commercial success. However, T-Pain faced financial troubles due to extravagant spending and mismanagement. He experienced tax issues and struggled to maintain his earlier level of chart-topping success. In 2024, at the age of 38, T-Pain continues to create music and remains a respected figure in the music industry, known for his unique vocal style and influence on contemporary hip-hop and R&B. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too, so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.